So hi everyone, this is Paglia and I'm making this online commentary. I, these days I've been having so much free time so I was like recording games and doing some stuff and also why not to make the commentary. Anyways, this is the replay battle commentary. 2 vs 3, unusual 31k battle. Uh, one of the games that we played on Game Ranger. Well, basically we ended up having five people and Dio from Greek clan He was like why not to do this battle. So uh, basically we have um, me and Dio spent like normal 31k to each of us but our allies um, and our opponents the three people and they can have maximum 40 uh, units and they have 62k to spend anyways Dio got six slingers I think and he got 13 I think five five yeah 13 Spartans one uh, unit as his pillar shield and that's all he got. I'm playing as Macedon and I have 14 Royal Pikemen, 6 Companion Calf. We are fighting against Estrux. Where is Estrux? I know he's here. Estrux from IOW clan. He's playing as Scipiae. He got somewhere like 4, four 11 infantry. Um, he should be having two <coughs> cavalry and two auxiliary archer Kango he got five or four cavalry and somewhere like six seven infantry and three four auxiliary archer and we have this guy I think this is Constantine from RV clan he has oops, four Praetorian calf six urban cohorts and two auxiliary archers anyways Let's see what Dio is doing here. He's been very aggressive and he ends up in between two Scipiais. And um, yeah, I don't know if it was his plan or he just was focusing on some something else and he ends up here but he is doing a great job with this engagement um, because being here gives him the access to just engage this unit before getting decently pillied but eventually he uses one of his Spartans seeing this I move my infantry very close to him and making one cavalry charge here but it doesn't work um, I move my ca infantry here because I see his back isn't very protected just uh, to avoid some additional push from his back I just move my infantry somewhere uh, back of Diomedes and try to be defensive and gain him some time but yeah um, things don't really look really nice for us here meanwhile I'm just running around with my cavalry our opponent is just trying to hunt down my calf while I'm just running around and just looking for some um, quick charge which I do here I think yeah um, Dio and my charge managed to route two infantry and also we have another infantry of Estrax being routed and yeah anyways Estrox uh, already has all of his infantry engaged and Kango is sending some of his infantry I think he's moving into these Spartans and he loses one of his infantry like you can see he doesn't attack but just walk through these guys which is not really good considering these Spartans are fresh maximum they're warmed up it's not a very good idea to do also Constantine I think I hope I'm just calling him right because I'm, I, I don't really remember who this guy was but I think it was Constantine he's been 
he's been a bit pa passive and also the way he engages against these pikes aren't really good because he didn't do a good job with the peeling these royals and he doesn't he just engages them straight forward and it gives me a lot of chance to form up decent defensive line and to defend against these guys at the same time Dio um, managed to get rid of somewhere like 70% of the urbans that we had here and we have these archers well I think the main problems that our uh, op opponents got are these archers look how many of the uh, those archers are there like six seven or maybe eight of uh, archer units they brought but I think um, they won't do much of a thing because also they've been quite aggressive with their infantry and they ended up losing their infantry and these archers won't do anything very serious or threatening against these infantry. Um, I think these cavalry units just aim this routed unit so but if the, I managed to hit here it might have been much better but yeah. Also another things they do, they just chase around my cavalry, which is not very desirable for the normal player, because there is no point to chase them out, you can just keep your cavalry somewhere around and you can easily avoid through companions to get access, while you just chase them, this is what can happen, the companions, like your opponent basically will just run around and make these charges. I, I think I, I charged through the pikes, but no. Um, yeah, I charged through, but I didn't end up losing this uh, cavalry to the pikes, but um, I managed to route two Scipia units. Anyways, um, very little army is left here, and overall, they should be having like eight infantry left and a couple of cavalry units and a bunch of archers shooting us down but yeah well, what I think is that looking back to this replay I think the the interesting thing about it um, so there have been three people it might sound that they have the edge because it gives them advantage in terms of micro or whatever but the real problem they had was a communication problem because while we had the two heads just fighting against them, they had to coordinate three people to fight us. And I think this, this has been re the real problem, which ended up them losing their armies very quickly. Because they weren't really coordinated and we, was, we were easily fighting on um, uh, every place against these guys. So kind of fighting against the isolated urbans and yeah, that's it. Anyways, no infantry left from the enemy side. They have a couple of archers here, here, some, I mean cavalry and some archer units. And yeah, they still have some ammo left. But yeah, I mean, these archers won't do anything else. Um, Anyways, I, I think you guys found it interesting, this was something unusual and I was like just starting with commentaries with something like this. Um, I hope I'll be making some more commentaries, I hope you guys enjoyed it and good games to all the players that's been playing this game and nice idea by the duo by the way, it was quite entertaining. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed it and see you again. Bye.